Well, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm Steve Lepke. I'm one of the engineering managers uh, with the Protocol Labs Engineering Research Group and get to work with our IPFS team. And uh, be kicking us off here in the uh, implementation uh, track here, just talking about uh, Kubo. And so uh, with that, I think many may know that uh, Kubo is IPFS's th the first implementation. Uh, it was also the main implementation for many years and as a result has like grown with the IPFS project. <laughs> Uh, as a result, it is versatile in the way that it has been bent and contorted to meet uh, various needs. But uh, you know, stepping back, I believe Kubo is really best suited for the independent self-hoster. And that's what we're trying to uh, emphasize here with the new, new logo that we're, we're showing here um, with a camper, right? That you've got that independence and versatility um, that, that we believe Kubo can bring. Um, but in practice, uh, Kubo as an implementation is in a lot of ways the fallback implementation if, you, if there isn't something else for you. Um, and, but it does power some really marquee use cases and onboarding for the IPFS uh, community. Um, one of those is, is Brave, which probably many are aware of. Uh, you know, it's admittedly a bit of an awkward marriage, uh, sticking a Go binary in a browser. Um, but it's, you know, it's working for now. Uh, we do presume that a Rust or JS implementation will end up uh, winning there, which would be great. Uh, it does power many of the IPFS, uh, sorry, the HTTP gateways uh, that are out there, including IPFS currently, although that will be shifting with uh, the Saturn RIA project that Will was mentioning. Um, and yeah, uh, but you know, again, it's, again, most of that traffic is all happening through Kubo today. And um, yeah, yeah and, and even the, that Bifrost gateway part is extracted out Kubo, Kubo code. And, and side plug in, that'll be getting talked about, uh, talked about more here on Monday during the HTTP gateways track where it'll be talking about the Bifrost gateway. And then two, there's the IPFS desktop, which is oftentimes the entryway or lobby way, or there's a lobby for someone's IPFS journey, and that's all Kubo behind, uh, behind the scenes. And maybe unexpected, but uh, Kubo is often used for experimentation and validation of IPFS specs. Um, again, while not necessarily optimized for it, the fact that it has high network prevalence, which I'll be talking about shortly, and uh, auto update mechanisms through IPFS desktop and Brave, it makes it a great place to get uh, code out there that you need um, a large scale network deployment to, to validate. Uh, that said, Kubo is not suited for many, uh, many things, including large infrastructure. Oftentimes, large infrastructure providers are want, want more control or introspection than what Kubo provides, and they're looking for things like bounds on resource utilization or per ID or IP or peer ID uh, throttling, uh, performant garbage collection on large pin sets, policies around specific content. Like Kubo doesn't provide all those things, um, nor is it the ideal for limited platforms like IoT or mobile or things like uh, your, 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 um, your CI runs. But um, it's, it's filling the gap. Uh, you know, in terms of what's underneath the covers, it is multi-platform, you know, distribute binaries across those platforms, and also the Docker images are uh, very popular. About, uh, last time I looked, about almost 50% of the nodes that use Kubo are actually using our Docker images. Uh, it's a daemon architecture written in Go, and has a few different uh, interaction models, a CLI, a home-brewed uh, RPC interface, HTTP RPC interface, uh, and where it's probably particularly strict is around the HTTP gateway uh, interface that's been uh, well specified. And to control it, it has a ton of uh, configuration knobs, which is can be a blessing or a curse. Um, it's prevalence, it's about, it is still right now the dominant implementation. About 80% of the uh, nodes that store DHT provider records on the public IPFS DHT are all using Kubo. And uh, when I looked at the uh, bootstrappers operated by PL, about 80% of the 125,000 unique peer IDs were all, were all Kubo. So it's, um, it's still very much out there. Um, in terms of accomplishments since we last gathered in Iceland, uh, one was around configurable content uh, routing. The HTTP routing v1 API is implemented uh, and, and supported, and that enabled us, and you and the, sorry, the network indexers, including CID.contact, implement that. And so CID.contact is uh, queried in parallel um, by, by default uh, now in Kubo. Uh, we did a soft launch of Boxo, and this is where we extracted out and consolidated reusable um, Kubo functionality into a library to, to enable spawning of other Go-based implementations um, like, like the Bifrost Gateway. Um, the, you know, this is used in Kubo, Bifrost Gateway, IPFS cluster, even in Lotus currently. Uh, and you can uh, learn more about that later today. Gus is giving a talk about building your own adventure with Boxo. Maybe not the most exciting, but we wrangled the uh, Golu P2P resource manager into, into, um, into Kubo. Uh, adding in resource accounting eight years after the fact is not easy or fun. Uh, so thanks to those who endured that in, uh, with us, because it did take multiple releases to iron it out. 
the gateway saw a steady trick, uh, sorry, steady trickle of improvements, all of which were specified publicly, and uh, you know, particularly leaning in on uh, verifiability now with IPNS records. Uh, and we're really trying to take advantage of all the connectivity work that the LIP2P team has been doing uh, with getting web transport deployed so that uh, Chromium and now uh, nightly Firefox browsers can connect directly to a Kubo node, even if, uh, if it's, sorry, if it's publicly adiable, even if though it does, if its setup doesn't have a CA cert. Um, yeah, so in terms of some of what's coming and uh, Q1, we want to update the content routing within Kubo to be uh, with reader privacy. So this is both on the DHT and network indexer front, and there are going to be talks happening on that uh, on Sunday in the content routing track, both with Giannis for DHT and Elon with, uh, with the network indexers. Also, there were various uh, network events that happened over the last six months, and there's some uh, improvements to make, particularly around routing table resiliency, uh, guiding folks in their providing operations and around bit swap in terms of adding metrics, timeouts, and uh, back pressure. Uh, so those will be some of the work that's happening at the end of Q1. Uh, and you can learn more about what happened with the DHT with Ineonis' talk later today in the measuring IPFS track. Um, again, we're going to be pushing to uh, test and validate the hypothesis around Boxo and seeing if we can get more customized implementations out there that aren't living under the constraints of Kubo. And, um, oh, sorry, last, uh, my bad wrong way. Uh, last thing too is we want to do for data transfer what we did for data, uh, sorry, for content routing within Kubo to en enable uh, configurability of having different data transfer protocols within it. Um, and uh, so yes, we want to be able to support multiple in parallel for both getting uh, blocks, blocks and graphs and to also take advantage of all the work that the Move with the Bytes group has been doing on the data transfer uh, stack. Um, yeah, so in terms of the team, you know, all these folks are here, the core maintainers, Lytle, Ladine, Gus, Henrique, and Dropo. Um, they, they love to chat and connect. We also want to say big thanks to the over 350 direct contributors that have contributed to Kubo over the last eight years, and the uh, many more who have, uh, who have or um, do provide support, insight, and guidance along the way. And in terms of uh, closing, you know, in terms of how we talk about how to help, um, you know, the team wants to acknowledge that like what got us to this point in IPFS may not be what's ultimately needed to get us where the project is going in the in the future, right? Kubo is a linchpin in the ecosystem today, uh, but the, the maintainers really feel the tension around supporting the current users and use cases while really wanting to enable others to own their destiny and not be limited by what what Kubo can do. Um, so in that sense, please share your use cases and, and feedback with us. We would love to be collaborating, particularly on some examples to empower others to uh, own their destiny. And so yeah, please, please hit us up in the hallway on different channels or create a GitHub issue and look forward to connecting. Thanks a lot.